love your fight go wow. 760 and up you know that's life goes wow. if your credit too low walking on the tight rope so yo credit up wow. you get your credit wow. up wow. credit wow. up wow. You get your credit wow. up wow. credit wow. up so what is the marketing like let's say i get it do you market or do you just let it kind of organically do what it do no i don't do any like, crazy marketing um i might work with apartment mills so one of the facilities that I have in Pennsylvania is apartment complex up the road. So I go to the apartment complex, meet with the person in the office and say, hey, I have a storage for I just purchased this up the road. If you send anybody over, I give you a 10 percent commission. Right. So now that's a partnership because everybody's always moving in. Mm -hmm. If they don't have extra space, they have items. Send them over this way. You do Got a big it. grand opening. Um, but that's about it. We don't really do a lot of marketing because once it hits capacity. It's like can't do much. It's, it's, it's full. You know, and I don't Got really it. want, I want it to be, I want to always leave 10 to 15% um, vacancy mm -hmm. because I want to always be able the opportunity to turn the units around. Got I don't want to have it completely booked because it's completely booked. This is the rent I'm charging. It's stabilized now unless I increase the rents. Yeah. But now I'm just, this is just the income that I'm having. It's stuck. I don't have no real uh, revenue management. Gotcha. There's a question I'm learning to ask because my entrepreneurial mind will start entrepreneuring again. So this is an important question that I, I got to ask. What are the biggest headaches with this business? Because we could talk, we'll talk about it and be like, yo, I know me. Yeah. I'm going to get a storage unit. It's just easy money, cakewalk. But I've been realizing that nothing's like that. Nothing. So what are the biggest issues? The biggest issues, you may have people that leave their stuff in the unit, stop paying. You know, I have people that get, somebody got arrested, not not paying their, um, now they ain't arrested, they're not paying their units. Now we got to go put a lock on their unit, try to get them out, do an auction. So now you're going through all of that process to get them out, get the unit cleared out, mm -hmm. hire the auction company to come in and do that process. So that can be a headache. For me, it's not too much of a headache because I come from the eviction space in apartments. That's a way tougher process. So mm -hmm. this is a, a much easier process. So you'll have that. Um, you have people that's homeless that'll come hang around and try to sleep in the facility because, you know, is nobody living there. So you really don't have people management managing it 24 hours, right? Yeah. You have, I have somebody that go there four or five hours out the day, leave. After that, it's just- I just want to get into it. I mean- You can either jump the gate. <laughs> you, you know, you can jump the no, gate. You're not sleeping in the facility because the facilities are locked. I mean, the store units are, or if it's vacant, you just leave it open. No, it's vacant. I keep it locked, period. But right. you have people like, I. it hasn't happened to me yet, but one of my mentors- Somebody broke into one of the units and was sleeping in there, and that's mm. like they was actually living out of the unit because they was homeless. He got a, he got a facility in L.A. and L.A. is a big home homeless problem. So, yeah. those are the things that will impact. You know what? That's that's really about it. And obviously, you gotta have the right people in place. So, you know, the right management company. I, I, it's, it's, in the storage business, I say it's not what; it's about who. Who can you put in place to make sure that this is running efficiently? You know, it's crazy as you were telling me that. I was just thinking to myself, if I was homeless. I just ran this whole play in my head. Like I just cut the lock and had my own lock and put a lock on there. And I just lived there. You, you thought about that. Imagine who else. Thinking about yeah, that's that. crazy. I just thought about, it. I was like, that is actually a play. Yeah.